It's about two unlikely friends named Chuck and Lenore who go on a dreamlike adventure and uncover the magic of seeing the world through each other's eyes. It's, uh, it's basically just like a cloth-bound reminder of the love that exists in everyone and everything. I, I've been jokingly calling it my watercolor manifesto. Um, and like all great manifestos, there's a confused wiener dog and a sunbathing worm. Yeah, I, I, I like to do everything. Um, I, think, I think having like a personal touch to things that are made um, is sort of, well, it's the only way I know how to do things, but um, I actually loomed this, this thing, my, I'm joking. I didn't, I didn't really loom this scarf that was given to me. But um, I, I like to try to infuse everything I make with as much, um, you know, of my soul as possible. So it's like, I also hand wrote the letters too, and the copyright page, and the barcode. I really loved a book called Sideways Stories from Wayside School. I've been saying it wrong for 76 years. I actually just turned 76 last Tuesday. And uh, I, uh, some books that inspired me, or inspire me continually are, I love, there was a book called Bunicula and the Celery Socks at Midnight about a, a vampire bunny rabbit that sucks the life out of celery in the middle of the night. I believe, um, William Shakespeare wrote it. I was at a bodega and I'm gonna have you guess who I was starstruck by. I was in a bodega and I looked to my left and all of a sudden, Macaulay Culkin. I was losing my mind. I was like, I, I love Home Alone. And I love being Home Alone too. I do have a go-to karaoke song, and it is always met with wild disappointment whenever I do it. I was doing it in Tennessee last at like a biker bar, and it was, uh, should I sing you a little bar? Can we get the rights to this music? Why are there so many songs about, I'll stop right there, uh, The Rainbow Connection by Kermit the Frog.